Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this liquidity text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin, but with the help of simple and cool tips and techniques inside of After Effects. And if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff, then don't forget to check out my Udemy courses. Links are available in the description. And if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. We are going to call it as main animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on titles affection. Okay, now first we need to create our liquid animation for our text. So for that I'm going to select my ellipse tool and i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse now select this ellipse and press ctrl alt home to apply that anchor point at the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press p for position select this position right click and choose separate dimension one keyframe at x and one keyframe at y then press s for scaling option create another keyframe hit u zoom in a little bit let's go to somewhere around 20 frames and we'll change the x position over here okay like this and create one keyframe at y position also scale should be zero at this point and in middle of that we will change this y position somewhere around over here and initially let's make this scale a little bit more like this now we will select this y position keyframes only and we will hit f9 sorry we will hit uh, F9, go to the graph editor, select this graph by holding shift, we will move one handle over here, one handle over here, select this, move one handle over here, select this and move one handle over here. So if you see, I will get this kind of popping animation over here, like this. Let's select this and the final scale should be let's say 20 or let's make it 0. Now select this, hit Ctrl D, hit U change the x position somewhere around over here and y position a little bit upward similarly hit ctrl d hit u again change the x position little bit over here and y position little bit upward so if you see i'll get this kind of animation now i want this animation should be random so i'll take a distance of two two frames and i'll adjust it one by one so i'll get something like this now I'm going to select all these three layers. I'll press Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as one. Hit OK. Press F4 and enable this icon like this. Now hit Ctrl D. Press Ctrl D. Press R for rotation and let's rotate it like this. So we'll get something like this. Okay. Then select both of these layers. Hit Ctrl D. Let's bring them at the top. Press S. Unlink this and let's make this minus 100 like this okay sorry uh, let's go to the start and over here let's make this minus 100 oops i did some mistake let's go to the start and let's try to make this minus 100 so we'll get something like this but if you see over here we are getting some weird stuff so to get rid of that what we can do is you can simply delete those two layers for now simply select both of them hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top then right click new and create one null object over here so it will come at the center select this uppermost two layers and let's make it apparent this with this null one now select this null one unlink this and let's make this minus 100 so we will get this kind of animation okay and then delete this null object we don't need that anymore now after that we need some splash animation so I'm going to select my ellipse tool and this time we don't need any fill and for the stroke color I'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok and I'm going to create one ellipse like this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now go inside this ellipse inside path size and let's unlink this size create one keyframe also go to the stroke one and create one keyframe at stroke width now select this and hit u 
now uh, let's make this initial scale should be somewhere around 80 and the size of this uh, should be somewhere around like this and also make this size like this okay then go few frame forward somewhere around over here 20 frames let's increase this size increase this size and also decrease this stroke up to zero then select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift we'll move one handle over here and we'll move this handle also here select this we'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation now after all of this stuff right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and sub apply blur effect and apply gaussian blur and let's go somewhere around at this point and let's increase the blur value to 80 or let's say 40 then apply simple choker effect which is this one double click to apply and increase this choker value as you guys can see we are getting this kind of water droplets over here like this but uh, if you see over here we are not getting this much effect over here so to, for that what we can do let's select this go to the start and over here i'm going to increase the stroke width and at the same time at this point which is stroke width is almost zero we are going to increase the stroke width up to let's say 25 so now if i see i'll get this kind of water splash similarly select this hit ctrl d let's move this up to five frames so if i see this i'll get this kind of water splash over here let's hit u and the second splash should be a bit a bit wider and somewhere around like this so let's see how does it looks it will look something like this and the stroke width should be a little bit up to six so if i see this i'll get something like this okay let's move this over here and let's move this one over here so we'll get something like this okay so this is for the splash also for this four layers i'll hit ctrl d let's bring them at the top and let's move them a little bit forward like this so if i see i'll get this kind of animation if you want then you can increase the choker value also to get a clear cut results over here similarly for this one if you want then you can increase the splash size of this one like this okay so this is how you will get the water splash effect select all of them and press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as splash and hit ok press s for scaling option and scale it like this and let's bring this downward so this is how you will get our splash now we need to create one uh, drop animation so by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse let's uh, decrease this drop or oh, i mean stroke and let's choose a uh, black color select this press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit then go inside this uh, contents con ellipse one ellipse path select this right click and choose convert to bezier path then select our selection tool and i'm going to select let's select our pen tool over here i'm going to select this point and i'll go move this a little bit over here so we will get this droplet type of effect now uh, select this uh, press p for position create one keyframe go to around 20 frames let's bring this downward let's move the splash over here over here let's move this splash somewhere around over here let's go to the start and let's bring this totally upward now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and move this handle over here like this and at this point i'll select this i'll press ctrl shift d to split this layer and simply delete it so now if i see i'll get this kind of splash animation okay and now we need to add our text over here so let's type our first text i'm going to type m uh, let's uh, make sure that your at center text go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press ctrl alt home like this let's move this over here 
and press P for position create one keyframe go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start let's bring this downwards select those keyframe hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here and change the color to black one <coughs> sorry like this and now uh, because it's coming from here we need to create mask so i'm going to create one ellipse which should be like this and i'll adjust it over here and i'm going to choose uh, alpha mask so press f4 and choose alpha mask over here and this m should be downwards so we'll get a little bit over here let's make sure that this ellipse should be a little bit upward so it will look like that it's coming from here okay if you want you can deselect the splash hit ctrl d you can move this a little bit press s for scaling option and you can scale it a little bit so you will get these two splashes over here like this okay now select all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as m now press uh, f4 and enable this icon and now we need to adjust it one by one hit ctrl d let's move this over here 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 hit ctrl d and let's move this over here let's select all of them and adjust it like this okay hit ctrl 0 now select this m hit ctrl d over here hit enter and let's call it as o double click to open this select this text and let's type o over here select and go to the main animation select this second alphabet and by holding alt i'll replace it so now select this o hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as t double click to open this select this o and let's type t over here then we will select this third alphabet by holding alt i am going to replace it uh, don't worry about the gap we will fix that later then uh, select this t hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call it as i double click to open this let's call it as i over here similarly o uh, select this m select this i and by holding alt i'll replace it over here we need o again so i'll select this o and by holding alt i'll replace it and lastly we need n so select this o hit ctrl d hit enter let's call it as n double click to open this comp instead of this o i'm going to choose n and for the last by holding alt i'll replace it now all we need to do we need to adjust the position so our text looks normal so i'll select this t and i'll adjust it over here select this I'll adjust it over here. Select this O. I'll adjust it over here. Select this N. And I'll adjust it over here. Now select all of them. And let's try to adjust it properly like this. Now if you see this animation. You will get something like this. But this looks quite weird. So what we will go do. We will do one by one so i'll take a distance of five five frames for each and every alphabet so we can see the water splash properly for each and every alphabet so we will get something like this and if you want uh, then another thing you can do you can go inside each and every one uh, if you see the splash over here uh, you can select this you can go to the effect and presets panel let's go to the fill and double click to apply fill effect and choose instead of a complete black i'll choose grayish color let's copy this fill effect and apply to this splash also like this why we are doing that let's we will see that a little bit later and same thing you need to follow for this all of this simply select those and apply that grayish fill effect for each and every one i'll go and hit ctrl v that same effect so if you see this we will get a, something like this then you can select all of them and press ctrl shift c and you can add text animation 
and then you can apply tint effect on it and double click to apply the tint effect uh, you can press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's bring this backward and let's delete this tint effect create right click new and create one adjustment layer and now apply tint effect on it you can easily swap this color over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation uh, and you can swap this color and instead of black suppose if you are going to choose red color that is also okay you can choose whatever color you want you will get same results you can choose alter version of this also okay so this is how you can create this kind of uh, liquidity text animation effect inside of after effects